Oh boy, it's me again. Yep, it is. Like this baby. It's a nice one, isn't it? This right here is my knife that I bought. Well, actually, one of my ex-husbands bought this for me. Uh, got a little rust on there. It's a Pakistani. Pakistani steel. Which isn't too bad. Got me a new honing. Uh, stone. Sharpening stone. This baby's already pretty sharp. But you know, you never can tell when you're going to have to stick something. But uh, initially we got this here. Because we were going up in the mountains in Nevada. Ely, Nevada. Yeah. Let me get some of that rust off of there. Uh, a friend of mine cleaned it up for me a couple years back. I've never had to use this knife. I hope I don't ever have to. Um... I want to be real careful. Can you see what I'm working on right there? Can you see it? Right there. Yeah, this baby, she's, she's pretty sharp already. But I like to take her out every now and then. And considering everything that's going on. I think it might be high time to bring her out. Now, see, the one cool thing about Nevada. See, Nevada is a cool fucking state. I can carry this in Nevada on my hip, on my thigh, in my boot. Here in Texas, I cannot carry it. They will put me 10 feet under. They send me walking in with this. I don't like that right there but you know if I had to I could uh, see it on this side see it can you see that part right there right there that's where I got an issue at and I can feel it as I run the stone over it now I already wet this stone uh one thing I do know is about knives. Damn. Bitch will bite your ass. She will bite you, but good. Let's use my I will not comply sign to test. Well, it's not going to comply, that's for fucking sure. Not good. Let's see if we could do it a little bit different. Yeah. This is not necessary like a slicing knife. But she does go through pretty good. I sharpen her up a little bit more. You know, it is what it is, darling. Let's try this finer blade. This finer side, see. It's got a cute little... What is that? I don't know. Three riders. You know. Pretty cool. But he got it for me. Then he thought after he got it. Man I shouldn't have got that crazy bitch. That freaking knife. She might cut me up. Well hell he wasn't as wide as the knife itself. Cut his ass up. I wouldn't do that. 
I'd more like to leave him at a gas station while he went in there to use the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, that's just that's just how it is. She don't have a name. She don't have a name. Soften it up a little bit. Just, she's tight. She will not play. Yeah. But I always figured, because we were going up into the mountains, I thought, I need something that I can stick a bear with. <laughs> and he bought that story. But, I mean, for real. What are the odds of surviving a bear attack? Slim to none, but damn, I'm sure going to give it my best and then you know they had them mountain lines up there and those rocky mountains man i love dealing nevada One of my bug out areas if i'm ever up in that way see i i'm back in texas for a reason darling i've been preparing for this stuff for a while now you know because Texas has been talking about it for a while now. See, that's not good. I got some, I got some rust right there. Man, I hate that. Because it, it is, I got a little bit of rust right here too. But this knife is old. Like I said, I had it for a while. I think that's just, that's just plastic right there. I mean, it's got some weight to it. But, I mean, I prefer it like this. Just like this. It fits well. I don't know what's going to happen down here in Texas, y'all. I ain't got no idea. But I'll tell you what. Uh, whatever happens, I'm going to be ready. I might be crippled. and I might be a grandma. And I just might be a whole lot of things. But one thing I ain't is a punk. I'm glad that we got a governor that ain't a punk. Okay? Come on, people. Yeah. This is affecting everybody. It don't matter what color your freaking hair is or what size of ass you got. This shit is affecting everybody, and the sooner we do something about it, the better off we're going to be. Okay? Yeah, I hear this punk talk talking about, well, you don't throw the first punch. Well, you know what? Sometimes... It takes somebody actually stepping up and throwing the per first punch. Come the fuck on. You know, we've been taking this stuff for them people up there for a long time. And this ain't, this ain't the first issue that we've had with them up there. Okay? So y'all need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, this is Texas. We are not going to freaking play with your ass. We're not going to do it. We know our rights, we're going to enforce our rights, and we're going to stand up for our rights. And at the same time, for them states that can't do it for themselves, we're going to do it with them and for them as well. Because, we see, we're all Americans. But down here, Texas is a state of mind, darling. And that's hard to get across to people. They cannot conceive it because they're not from here. That's what it's about. I'm telling you right now. I'm glad Abbott is holding the line. I'm glad our boys are coming and helping us. 
You know what I'm saying? And being down here and standing together. Because I've been preaching it. It tells us. United we stand. Divided we fall. Wake the fuck up. Okay? At least Abbott is doing something. He's doing something. Period. What you got to say about that? You know? When I go off on a rant like that, I get a particular individual stuck in my freaking head. And they're idiots. They're stupid. And uh, it just eats me up. It's like, how can you be so ignorant, man? What? Where are you at? Yeah, and ain't nobody want to leave the comforts of their little freaking warm tutus. At the house. But you know what? Sometimes you got to just say, shit's got to be done. Get it freaking done. I tell you what. I posted on my community page how to get a hold of Greg Abbott. Freaking write him a letter. Either show your support or don't show your support. But freaking do something, right? Go to your local representative's office. Come on. Either you're going to support it or you're not. Because I'll tell you what. You better be where you're supposed to be at when this shit goes down. Because you ain't going to be going nowhere. You know, that's how I feel about the whole thing. That's how I feel about it. And I tell you what, this, you know, I just cannot believe the stupidity of some people, man. Come on, I'm just talking trash. You know what? Look in the freaking mirror and check yourself, bitch. That's what I think. Be talking trash about Texas. We gonna force to put your money where your mouth is, okay? Then if you can't back that shit up, we're going to stomp a mud hole in your ass and walk that motherfucker dry. You must believe that shit. Now, we're going to do stuff peacefully and calmly and within the law. But I guarantee you, I'm trying to get that off there, man. The bitch is so sharp right there. It's sharp. Yeah, get up and man, come on. Come on. It takes two seconds. It takes as long, just as long as you log into your phone, check your email, get on YouTube, scratch your ass, pick your nose, take a piss, take shit, smoke a cigar and a, and a cup of coffee as it does to write or visit your local representative. Okay? I'm just saying. People got freaking excuses. And, you know, I'm a no-excuse kind of person. Don't give me a fucking excuse. Don't waller in self-fucking-pity. Don't whine and moan about shit. Just get it fucking done. Accept it for what it is. It is what it is. If nothing changes, nothing changes. People just, you know, they don't understand this kind of stuff. Yeah, you better be freaking scared because just this, this might be the momentum that we have been needing to uh, take care of some business, which we have been trying to take care of for a while here in Texas. But everybody's so caught up in, you know, the freaking Hardashian Hempsons and, you know, who who's going where and who's doing what and this, that, and the other. Yeah, keep keep looking at all those freaking soap operas, man. That's all it is, the fucking soap opera. That's it. Let me tell you what matters. Your freedom matters. 
Yeah, that's the most important thing. I'm telling you, we are the last ones to make a stand before they really start trying to get down. Gotta get your shit together. I'm prepared to go live out in the fucking woods. I'd rather go live in the fucking woods and die under a tree eating fucking tree bark than die on my freaking knees and say that I'm doing this and doing that. Motherfucker, no, you're not. You're sitting here eating bonbons and watching fucking YouTube. You ain't doing, you ain't free. You're right where they want you to be doing fucking nothing. If you ain't working on your body, you ain't working on your skills, you better be working on your freaking mind. Because this mindset ain't for freak, ain't for punks. It's not for punks. And you better be able to back it up. Texas is going to back it up. You can't best believe that. Don't mess with Texas, baby. Sharpening my knife, ciao.